I don't know. I mean, everybody thinks it's a great idea having bike lanes. Sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes it's a horrible idea. The one in Georgetown under K Street is a horrible idea. I feel much less safe on that than I used to, so I just ride in the road. There's a traffic circle um, in Petworth that I avoid because I almost got hit once. Just trying to, you know, get the motorists to be more aware. Enforcement. Awareness is important. Just reminding people to look for their My name is Ashley Blue. I live in Tacoma, DC, and uh, I'm an everyday bicyclist. When it comes to riding on the road with cars, it can get kind of hairy sometimes. Um, I think it all has to do with space. Who, whose space is it? Who's dominating the space? Um, who's in control of the space? How do we feel safe in a space that's shared by so many other people and so many other modes of transportation and some that are more dangerous than others? Okay, we all need to do our part of riding defensively, uh, riding with, with appropriate lights, bright clothing, uh, Black clothing exists in the cycling world because it hides dirt. Uh, but helmets, uh, jackets, outerwear, uh, the touch points that move, you'll see especially booties and gloves. Uh, cycling clothing manufacturers will put high-vis highlights or reflective elements on those points. So, so it's apparent that it's a person. A lot of people in the city don't have that choice. They have to they have to bike to work, they have to um, bike on dangerous roads to get to work, and um, a lot of times the bike lanes and the infrastructure are put in place in the city but are only for the, the few that have the privilege of raising their voices and have the time to come out and say, you know, I want this bike lane in my neighborhood, and a lot of the people that really do need that safe in infrastructure don't have the time to advocate for themselves and their communities. Um, so I think it's important to, as we talk about safe biking, not just talk about the areas in which bi people are bicycling for fun or because they have the privilege of having that choice, but for the communities and the neighborhoods that really need that safe infrastructure. Uh, probably better enforcement for an education to teach the car drivers to respect the uh, rights and, you know, uh, right to be on the road uh, for bikes. And also there are, you know, bicyclists out there, cyclists who abuse the privilege of being on the road. And when I'm driving, you know, it's the other way around. And sometimes there'll be somebody riding down the middle of a lane and there's a bike path right alongside the road. And if I were riding, I'd be on the bike path. So some of these cyclists who maybe have their $8,000 bikes don't want to hit a pothole or something. And uh, that ruins it for all of us, so. You know, just doing what they do is it. Now, traffic control, uh, bike lanes, what they've done so far has, in, in many respects, been wonderful. Uh, but it's never going to be a complete answer. Uh, Washington, Georgetown, this is an old urban area. You can't tear down buildings to make a bike. You can't eliminate street parking altogether. It's, it's a facet of the transportation program. And it's unfortunate, but cyclists and pedestrians have to bear a higher burden. Uh, that's just how it is.